oftentimes when I use the term bioregion, people turn their heads and question it. Like, what the heck am I talking about? What is a bioregion? What does it mean? And why does it even matter? Well, I'll tell you, because thinking bioregionally is a key component of recognizing the ground underneath your feet and the role it plays in the broader systems of the earth in order to create a better future for us all. So a bioregion is an area of land that's defined by physical properties or boundaries like coastline and mountain ranges that contain a similar mix of biota or plant and animal species throughout and interdependent hydrological patterns of flow that unite the entire region. For example, I live in and often reference the Cascadian bioregion, an area that encompasses the entire Columbia River watershed from its headwaters way up in northern so-called British Columbia to tributaries down through Idaho, parts of Montana, Wyoming, northern Nevada, eventually into Oregon and Washington where it drains out into the Pacific Ocean. In this area, all of the rain or snow that falls on the western side of this basin eventually drains out through the Columbia River, uniting the entire region. Additionally, similar hydrological patterns and species diversity exist in smaller watersheds along the coast and islands from Northern California up through Southern Alaska, so those are included as well. No matter where you live on this planet that we all share, you are part of a bioregion in a similar manner. And these bioregions ignore the arbitrary straight lines created by humans in the form of roadways, counties, and countries. What happens in the waterways of BC has literal trickle-down impacts to the waters of Washington and Oregon and beyond into the oceans that unite all of us. When a mining tailing pond pollutes the river in BC, that affects the quality of water that reaches the farmer in eastern Washington, which affects the quality of the crops that they grow and the food that you get from the store, which affects your health and happiness. When overfishing off the coast of Alaska affects salmon returns in BC or dams along the Columbia River affect how many are able to swim back to their native spawning grounds, that affects the food source for wildlife and human populations, which impacts the nutrient loads within these forests, which affects the health of these forests and determines how resilient to wildfire they may be, which puts rural communities at risk throughout the entire region. See, Everything is interconnected beyond our myopic, linear way of human thinking. And once you're able to see this, it affects your values and thus the choices you make. Suddenly, there is much more value in supporting a local winery from the Okanagan Valley, whether it be in BC or Washington, that produces things ethically with their impact in mind, rather than a big winery in California or Spain or Australia that ships their product long distances because you can see the connection it has to your well-being. You can see the literal physical connections between a mining project in BC and its impact to the health of the Salish Sea and the communities that depend on that for livelihood, or a company's use of pesticides in logging operations in Oregon relative to the health of the estuaries that support juvenile salmon development from BC waterways. From big to small, every choice we make and action we take impacts those around us. And thinking bioregionally allows one to realize that many of the issues that we talk about in silos are not limited to one little region or community and that they have bigger cross-border implications that impact the quality of lives that we all live. In what seems to be an ever-expanding world of connection through globalization and the internet, thinking at a bioregional scale helps contain and quantify the impact one has as a stepping stone to thinking about our global impact. It puts our actions into perspectives so that we can make changes that when compounded really can make a difference. Support people and businesses in your bioregion that operate with the health of both their and your communities in mind. Take action against developments that threaten the interconnections you rely on and let's work to break down those arbitrary lines of division to realize at the end of the day we're all in this world together. So no matter where you are in this big old world that we all call home, I'd encourage you to look up what bioregion you're in and learn about its inner workings. Where does your water come from? What are the native plant and tree species that surround you and what are their ranges? What sort of wildlife depends on them and who do they depend on? See, it's time we start thinking and acting on behalf of one another to create a truly better world, not only for all of us human people that live here, but for all of the non-human people who we depend on that call this place home too. After all, we're all going to be facing some pretty challenging and difficult times in the near future with the impacts of anthropogenic climate change from droughts to storms to floods and extreme wildfires. And the only way that any of us are gonna get through any of that is together.